would like you know how people always be like oh man i wish i fought in the 90s and stuff and I just want to re like recreate what those images and how we saw it so you know what i'm saying and um obviously with doing um another project in my black in the day working with all of those kind of pictures just re inspires me to like it inspires me to recreate that kind of vibe as well do you know what i mean Yeah, my name is Jojo, 25. Um, primarily a graphic designer, done an event organizer as well, uh, a bunch of other things. But yeah, those are the main two. Yeah, um, started off that designing from young, really, like, like year nine. So um, yeah, like started designing year nine and did events in second year college. So like 2007 to 2010. Cause like, I don't know, I grew up like, my mum always did like parties for us, you know? Like 10th birthday, 11th, 12th, 13th, so. It's, I just felt like carrying on the tradition of me having doing something for my birthday, innit? And then, I remember I was thinking like, I'm 18, I haven't been, everyone's been clubbing, and my birthday's at the very, 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 very end, like the 8th, 30th of August, innit? So like, very, very late. So I was thinking, you know, if I'm gonna go clubbing first time, I'm gonna make it like sick, innit, do you know what I mean? So yeah, just found some club, I was living in Essex them times, found some club and just went to, just hired it out really and then told everyone to roll, charged them like three quid just to get the, to make the cover the cost in it, do you know what I mean? Because it was expensive and then yeah, that's what, that's how it started, that's how it started and people just asked me to do it again, so it was kind of hard, very hard to do it still. So. Um, recess came a long time after actually, so like, after I did, um, did a few parties, like one more party in Essex, I moved to London and I did something for my birthday again. And then with that, people just said, yo, do it again. So I didn't have a name, but I just kept on calling it Jojo. So I had Jojo's one, two, three, four, five, and there was a sixth one in it. So then I just sat down with one of the managers at um, Ace Hotel back then. And she was like, she made this regular. But I was kind of scared to do a regular night. I was scared it might flop in it. And then she, she told me to go back and think, just have a think about it. So I did think, I had some thought, gave, gave it some thought, sorry. And um, yeah, like came up with the name Recess. And I was like, okay, I want to do this, this, and this. And then, yeah, so she gave me a date. It was a Tuesday night, which is pretty shit. Do you know what I mean? So um, I did the party on the Tuesday night, tried to get some performers. Didn't really bang, didn't bang at all. And I was like, forget this, I'm not doing events no more, man. It just tanked. I made that 20 quid profit. I was like, forget this. So then, but I don't know, like, I, I, within that time from when I first started doing events, and then to like when I first did the first recess, like as a, my skills as a graphic designer was getting better and better in it. So like it, I think it really took it really took off in 2014 when I was doing the, the posters for the JoJo's parties. So people would like anticipate when people when when I would do those parties, the posters would be very unique, and people would recognize the the party because of the posters. It wouldn't say JoJo's on it; it would just say the number, so people knew already what it was. So I think I wanted to maintain that kind of like. That level of deep, like that level of like you know detail to what I was doing, so to apply it to recess and um, yeah, I just feel like I'm fortunate to be able to like put what I want to do on the paper. Say what? But we play everything like that. We kind of got. I grew up going to uni waves, innit? So we've got the same, the similar kind of patterns. So hip hop, R and B, Afro beats, bashment, funky, grime. So everything in it, like in one night. So yeah, like everything that people, if they went to uni, that like, went to uni with predominantly black people, the kind of things they were here, or the how they used to look, grew up right anyway. I just say um, you got to know exactly what you want to achieve from your nights. You got to understand your crowd as well, like your clientele. Like you got, you really got to understand what they want, listen to what they want. Do you know what I mean? And you got to be prepared to like look, spend a lot of time looking for venues as well, because it's it's, it's actually it's, it's still kind of tough, man. Because you, you're not just competing with like promoters from your own community, you're competing with promoters from different communities. And I mean like you know white people as well. Do you know what I mean? So like it's, it's a big like it's bare people, bare promoters and. As we know, like the clubs in London, 
like they're not they're, there's not as many as they used to be like maybe 10 15 years ago do you know what i mean so i just say um just know what you know what you really want in it don't just do it for the peas man because like if you try to do it for the peas straight away like you're gonna go down as quickly as you go up or something like that, something like that. Because some some raves come and go. Some of, well, we're not even just not even we're not even just trying to be a rave as well. Like obviously we're doing a sound clash, so we add another layer. But we just, we just want to be like a reputable source or entertainment source for black people in the UK, man. You know, and for it to just continue to like be part of our growing infrastructure within our black scene because you know we've seen things happen, grow in the past couple of years. Like do you know what I mean. So just want to be keeping up with the pace and going as as at the same pace as how the infrastructure and the scenes going, do you know what I mean? So yeah man, just to just to be here and to stay here really.